Welcome to Transcend Awards. Prioritize infection awareness. Your learning objectives are to understand types of parasitic infections, to understand the cause of parasitic infections, to understand the signs and symptoms of parasitic infections. Once you know these, you can take positive action to support those with a parasitic infection and prevent the spread. Infectious disease, infection pathogens. There are five main infectious agents, also known as pathogens, that invade the body and cause infectious disease in humans. These invaders are categorized as bacteria, viruses, fungi, prions, and parasites. In this digital learning experience, we will focus on parasitic infection, the causes, signs, symptoms, and treatment. Parasitic infections, parasitosis defined. Parasitic diseases are also known as parasitosis and are infectious diseases caused or transmitted by a parasite. Many parasites do not cause diseases as it may eventually lead to the death of both organism and host. Parasites infecting human beings are called human parasites. Parasitic infections are a big problem in tropical and subtropical regions of the world. Malaria is one of the deadliest parasitic diseases. Parasitosis infection causes. Parasites are organisms that live off other organisms or hosts to survive. Some parasites don't noticeably affect their hosts. Others grow, reproduce, or invade organ systems that make their hosts sick, resulting in a parasitic infection. Parasitic infections can be caused by three types of organisms. Protozoa are single-celled organisms that can live and multiply inside your body. Some infections caused by protozoa include giardiasis. This is a serious infection that you can contract from drinking water infected with Giardia protozoa. Helminths are multi-celled organisms that can live in or outside of your body. They're more commonly known as worms. They include flatworms, tapeworms, thorny-headed worms and roundworms. Ectoparasites are multi-celled organisms that live on or feed off your skin. They include some insects and arachnids, such as mosquitoes, bees, ticks, and mites. Parasitosis infection transmission. Parasitic infections can be spread in a number of ways. Some can be passed through sexual contact. Protozoa and helminths can be spread through contaminated water, food, waste, soil and blood. Some parasites are spread by insects that act as a vector or carrier of the disease. For example, malaria is caused by parasitic protozoa that are transmitted by mosquitoes when they feed on humans. Parasitosis infection transmission. Anyone can get a parasitic infection However, some people are at greater risk. You are more likely to contract a parasitic infection if you have a compromised immune system or are already sick with another illness. Live or travel in tropical or subtropical regions of the world. Do not have a clean supply of drinking water. Swim in lakes, rivers or ponds where giardia or other parasites are common. 
work in childcare, work with soil regularly, or work in other contexts where you come into contact with faeces on a consistent basis. Toxoplasmosis can be very harmful for pregnant women and their developing babies. The infection is spread through cat faeces. When pregnant, someone else should clean the litter box daily. Parasitosis Infection Symptoms The symptoms of parasitic infections vary depending on the organism. For example, trichomoniasis is an STI caused by a parasite that often produces no symptoms. It may cause itching, redness, irritation and an unusual discharge in the genital area. Giardiasis may cause diarrhea, gas, upset stomach, greasy stools and dehydration. Cryptosporidiosis may cause stomach cramps, stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, dehydration, weight loss and fever. Toxoplasmosis may cause flu-like symptoms including swollen lymph nodes and muscle aches or pains that can last for over a month. Malaria may present with fever, severe shaking and chills, profuse sweating, headache, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and anemia. Parasitosis Infection Treatment Treatment the treatment will depend on the diagnosis and you will likely receive prescribed medications for trichomoniasis, giardiasis or cryptosporidiosis. Medications are unlikely for toxoplasmosis if you're not pregnant and otherwise healthy, unless you have a severe and prolonged infection. Medical experts may recommend other treatments to relieve your symptoms, for example, Many parasitic infections can cause diarrhea, which often leads to dehydration, and you will be advised to drink lots of water. In humans, malaria parasites grow and multiply first in the liver cells, and then exponentially in the red blood cells. It is the blood stage of the parasite life cycle that causes the symptoms of malaria in humans. Malaria is usually classified as asymptomatic, uncomplicated or severe and it is based upon this diagnosis that treatment is planned. Treatment can range from hydration to a range of treatments to prevent organ failure and fatality. Parasitosis Infection Prevention Prevention there are several steps you can take to lower your risk of contracting a parasitic infection. Practice safe sex using a condom. Wash your hands regularly, especially after handling uncooked food or feces. Cook food to its recommended internal temperature. Drink clean water, including bottled water when you're traveling. Avoid swallowing water from lakes, streams or ponds. Avoid cat litter and feces when you're pregnant. Parasitosis Infection Response Respond swiftly. Be proactive. Prevent spread. Thank you for watching. Feel free to watch as many times as you need or move on to the next part of your digital learning experience on your list.